Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look at Roblox cheats. You know, last time we covered how much malware can you get from Minecraft cheating tutorials. The short answer is a lot. So is Roblox any better? Uh, let's find out. I got a feeling it isn't. Just my projection here. Now, of course, this is for educational purposes. I don't encourage cheating, but it is good for people to know what level of risk they might be taking before engaging in such an activity. Was my Chrome just... Okay, no, it hasn't crashed. Okay. Now, the first result is an ad for Wiimod that, as far as I know, is legitimate, although whether this is going to the real site. Uh, and this, I think, is more of a... This is basically a paid version of Cheat Engine with some built-in cheats. It's only for single-player games. There's nothing wrong with this. I don't... Oh, maybe it isn't paid. I thought, I thought it was paid, or at least there's a premium version. I don't really recommend this, but there's nothing really wrong with this. And there's nothing wrong with cheating in single-player games. That's just called modding. So let's see, the first one here is coming in hot. Now, it's worth noting that some of these will use the names of legitimate things. Uh, they'll also sometimes take the names of discontinued but legitimate cheats. And I will inevitably, so I'll address this right now, about dealing with the more legitimate uh, ones, at least ones that work. Uh, the trouble is, they're usually so obfuscated that getting a solid answer is difficult. But they're usually at least not immediately doing anything fishy, whereas these, uh, this has got all the red flags we look for. Uh, passworded zip files, just watch the guide. Plus 2025 is what we need to get into this. Oh, and they, okay, that's downloaded. I've seen if they suggest turning off antivirus. And here is the supposed script. So that's our first hit. Uh, all right, we're going to download some more. And we'll take a look at what we've got. Now, some of these are just unrelated videos, especially because right now I'm on the uh, relevancy YouTube search, which is the less dangerous one, although the top result is still malware. And I'm guessing this is going to be a hack channel, which is another big red flag, is this doesn't look like this is a Roblox channel. Oh, look, we got everything. We got all these different fakes. They'll SEO, as I said, ones that are known to exist. They've also got a League of Legends skin changer, more Roblox, Fortnite skin swapper, I don't even know what that is, rivals, Roblox Luna exploit, Roblox Delta executor, CLD B06, what on earth is that? I think it's Call of Duty. Red Dead Redemption 2, that's not even an online game, but wow, they got everything here. We got some sussy wussy cheats right here. Oh, and we've even got Minecraft, so let's also, out of curiosity, let's just see, this will be the exact same, oh, it's not even the exact, it's the exact same link. Another red flag is, oh, are they linking to the same thing for a bunch of different video games? That's probably not a legitimate cheat. Now we also have these videos that, oh, and we've got some interesting uh, ads as well. Uh, we've got a, a gentleman's harem RPG. That, that seems like a good, really, we should just be playing that instead of trying to cheat at Roblox. Oh, and I, I think this might be a cheat for the harem RPG. This one's a bit spicy. And this one's using a technique I've seen a fair amount. They they do the Google Sites. No, I don't want to get YouTube Premium. How else am I going to get all these harem RPGs that I would otherwise be missing out on? So we got we got really spammy description, and here they've got good instructions. As I've said before, while some exploits and cheats might need you to turn off your antivirus, don't bother. They unless you're really really confident, this is a terrible idea. So these guys, oh, they're they're saying like you can. Uh, we got to use a compatible browser, turn off all of our security features. And I've even got an instruction if we don't know how to run an EXE. I know I don't know how to run an EXE, so this is going to be really helpful for me. And they've got something. It looks a bit more legit. We've even got a WhatsApp. <laughs> uh, Lie Team 1337. That could be affiliated with the real thing. Whereas this file is not affiliated with the real thing. And we're here to another media fire that looks relatively identical to what we were at before. Hate how Mediafire has gone with these ads, where they open them in a window. Not quite as bad as something like Buzz Heavier, but it's still, it just gives me a slightly malicious vibe. Now, this another case, this does not look like a Roblox channel to me, and we can see all of these different ones with very similar thumbnails. The videos are different. In a lot of cases, the videos are actually stolen from YouTubers who have nothing to do with this, and we can see, again, they're using the same link for different games. I've actually had my videos stolen a few times, 
by these kind of channels. And it's just funny to me because they'll sometimes even steal the voiceover where I'm explaining why it's a virus. So I don't even bother taking them down because I think they're actually doing everyone a favor. So let's extract some of these uh, juicy malwares. So we got endorphin, looks legit to me. And we got soft V1014. Now these may be a bit interesting purely in that because of the Luma disruptions, we may not be finding as much Luma as we used to. But don't, sometimes they won't let that stop them. Bin, Java runtime. Oh, this is a nest of folders. I'm actually having a whole time figuring out which one I'm supposed to run. But I guess we'll keep going. Is it going to be in lib? That is Java. These are, these are identical EXEs. And I can pretty immediately figure out that this is going to be a case of DLL injection. We could try something, if we can figure out which way this is being injected. Then we'll take a look at the other one because it's probably not as nested. Let's see what our endorphin has going on. I already extracted it. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so this is endorphin. Now this is more like what we're expecting. And we can be pretty confident that one of these DLLs is the payload. And let's see what endorphin really is. This is the new trend that we've been seeing for a while. It doesn't even say. Where the EXE is a legitimate program and the DLLs are the actual payload. So it's either going to be D3D. I've got to read me as well. Installer and wait program to be installed. I'm going to guess it's this D3D compiler DLL. Let's go to virus total and just see which one is giving us a flag. It's got a few flags, and we will check the FFmpeg as well, just to make sure that one's healthy. Probably that one that is our suspect. Now let's see uh, what we if we had fallen for this, what delights would we be getting? Anyone ready to start cheating in Roblox? Oh, that's weird. Nothing happened. But don't be fooled. It is running. And if we open ProcX, we can see a bit more about what it's doing. But it has no GUI. This is not an application installer. This is an info stealer that I think is already finished. So we can run it again if we want to see what it does. But let's check out the other one, because that one is such a mess. I really want to see what it's all about. Soft V1004. Oh, it just hadn't finished. Okay, so they've moved that. So here it is. So this bin was actually just a red herring. So the actual payload lives up here in one of these DLLs. Just see if this one's properly signed one is, so then the Python signature is probably sussy wussy. I was right. I thought they might do something kind of cool that you occasionally see where they, they'll do a double DLL injection. You'll, the injection, they will put the payload, yup, you don't quite look like Python to me. There's apparently a Luma. We can actually find some sandbox runs here as well. Let's see what's going on here. Luma Stealer, and we should have the C2s extracted. Let's see if these are still going. Certificate's gone. Hoping that means... Okay, that one seems to be gone. Hoping these will all be redirecting to a nice FBI. There we go. Yep, this is a, a Luma C2. Using a pretty typical technique. Because what most people will do if they use an online a tool, even if it's a sandbox, they'll do this. No hits. Run this one just to see what happens. And we see the infamous MS build, uh, which is a result of a reflection-based injector. Oh. And it's spawned a Microsoft Edge in debugging mode. And we'll see if it spawns any other browser. And that seems to just be chilling there now. MS Build is a popular target for these kind of attacks because it's present on pretty much every Windows computer. And it's extremely easy because of how it's built to just use a malicious project file to get it to do your work. And because it's a real system file, once again, wouldn't show up with a static scan. So it's a much harder to catch. Now I'm going to look and see how much persistence we might have going on here. I'm going to check as well if there's any other potentially interesting variants. This one looks a bit different. And once again, we can pretty easily tell this isn't the real uh, YouTuber here because this is, was originally a sunscreen. They're doing like sunscreen and uh, life hack reviews and suddenly it changes to Fortnite. See, we got diode laser skin rejuvenation, and then the next thing we got is 5M cheat, Roblox Solara executor, which I believe is a real thing, but it's certainly not a real thing in this link. PhantomCoreStudios.net. Let's see what Phantom Core cheats can do for us. It's updated and undetected. They've got vape, they got rust, they got Valorant, they got Valorant hack. 
Let's do Roblox. Roblox Executor is what we want. I can be pretty much certain these are all the exact same file, and it's downloading from a Soviet Union domain. Almost nobody legitimately uses a .su in this day and age. It seems like this zip file isn't encrypted, which is actually an unusual choice. They must be pretty confident that they're fully undetected. And it would appear that confidence was rightly... Oh, Unity Hub, wait a second, what? No digital signatures, that's never a great sign. Okay, we gotta we gotta try this. We gotta see what's going on here. Here we go. Okay, loader has just spawned. And it died. Okay. Okay, well, let's just check uh, if we've got anything persistent so far. Looks like we're good. That not verified is in fact a legitimate Discord file. And everything else here looks good. So these were all so far one and done. But I am really curious about what this is. First of all, I'm just going to copy this to my document so we can potentially see if this is a standalone file, then we know the payload. Yeah, it does look like it is. So I'm going to load this into Binary Ninja and get a closer look. Was I was thinking for a second because of the Unity thing, it could be a really clever injection technique, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't actually look like there's any Unity code in here. No, it could be an electron. Now we got our strings. Yeah, let's try this again under Procmon supervision. Okay, now we can drill down to its children because it's spawning a CMD that is actually doing its dirty work. Task list. So this is a very rudimentary anti-analysis technique, and this is probably uh, terminating the process. And with some luck, we should have just bypassed that. But it will depend on how the parser is written, because it's also possible that could just crash. What I've done is replaced it with a batch file. And a success. We at least got to a different step in the anti-analysis. Now I've got this hooked in x64 debug, so we can do a bit. So we want to follow what happens. So let's try and figure out, okay, who called? So we, we called it here. And if we put a break after that, that will take us to where we return to after we've run that. Taking out that memory address, that's going to UV spawn. So now I'm going to try this on a sandbox to see if we can get a bit more information, because the current blocker is the WMI port count. So let's see if any of our sandboxes can handle this. It's definitely more creative than the average uh, sample that I've seen recently. It's not a Luma. Looks to be a custom JavaScript implementation of some sort. I mean, a custom, like, custom stealer, not, not that they've, they've re-implemented the JavaScript language. That would be cool, though. It doesn't actually matter which one we download, because they're all going to the same Soviet Union domain to actually get the files. All right, well, we're all out of time for today, although I'm going to keep looking at this uh, rather creative uh, beast. Seems to have better anti-sandbox than most malware we look at these days. But the lesson here is... If you go on the internet looking for cheats, uh, you're probably going to find malware, not cheats. Uh, people will make pretty convincing videos, but they generally are fake. And even the real cheats, while they're nigh on impossible to analyze, he hence why I'm probably not going to make a video on the more legit ones, because they'll use layers of obfuscation, which doesn't tell you a whole lot, because they'll say, well, we're just doing that so the anti-cheat developers don't get into it. But at the same time, they could be uh, hiding unwanted surprises. I, I don't think cheating in multiplayer games is a good idea for a number of reasons. If you are absolutely insistent on doing it, the only advice I can give you is do not do it on a computer that has anything important. Do it on a dedicated computer or virtual machine. Only use it for that and do so at your own risk. That's all for me for now. Bye.